Don't worry about the Knicks, because it's your boy, Chris, with the Knicks. Alright, so quickly, I just wanted to talk about the whole Lil Peep situation. Alright, so Lil Peep, uh, just last week, passed away at 21 years old. He was a SoundCloud rapper, you know, I don't listen to too much, um, of this new generation rap. It just doesn't do it for me. I'm mostly a 90s rap person in 80s you know very conscious or you know i like to listen to stuff with substance yeah some of these people like i mindlessly listen to them because maybe like a co-worker or a friend might play them but i don't really too much listen to them however in this situation you know he was dealing with um, mental illness mental depression and i know a lot of people just because they don't listen to his music they on here talking about he little dead, he little sleep, you know, which I don't find funny, you know, because uh, it, this is a bigger situation, you know. He was, uh, he did a lot of drugs. He was popping Xanax, but at the end of the day, you know, it's real sad, you know. A lot of people feel like, oh well, he had money, he had this, he had that. Sometimes that's not really enough to stop people doing from doing what they do. And then too, you know, I don't know if he was raped. I don't know if he was molested. You know, I don't know if he had, you know, just bad parents who picked on him, teased on him, called him names. You know, I don't know what he was dealing with. A lot of people deal with this. You know, sometimes you, even with me, you know, I consider be thinking about something that happened in the past, and you know, it just fucks with your mind. You know, even though I was like a big fan of his, you know, I didn't know this listen to his music like that some of his stuff was good you know but with all these little peeps and pumps and little yachis gummo stitches and then some of the beats are similar sometimes they just run into each other so i can't tell who's who and then i'll mumble rap i'm not into that but like i said you know this is a bigger picture it's a bigger situation you know, and I think he was about to blow up on SoundCloud, too. He was already big. He was, I think he was meant to blow up before he, he died. But then he posted something saying, y'all gonna love me when I'm dead. And sure enough, you know, people just had this thing where an artist died and they blow them up. So, but, you know, and another thing about this whole generation is that I don't like how a lot of these rappers are... They're promoting all this drug use, these Xanax, this people popping their grandma's heart pills. You know, like as parents, you need to be more involved in what your child, you know, listens to. And what they're, um, and a lot of these kids used to need disconcernment. You know, he could have been popping those pills because he was, um, you know, had something mentally going on. You know, and I don't know if his parents, he was rich or whatever. Like I said, sometimes that's not enough. And some a lot of people don't have that support system. And a lot of people ain't going to uh, call up a, you know, a hotline number. You know, And if you do have that support system, you need to cherish that. Because I know a lot of people who have support systems and they just keep, and they're going through depression, but they just keep pushing their support system away or they keep fucking up, you know. So if you got a support system, you need to, be, you need to cherish that. that you know, the situation is just sad, you know, 21, that's, that's, you know, he has a lot of years ahead of him, and now he didn't overdose, and you got a lot of these kids, you know, mindless, mindlessly following, you know, trying to pop Xanax, a little pump had a Xanax cake, you know, and then there was another rapper who's pouring a fucking cough syrup on his, uh, pancakes, you know, like, the, this, this whole j- drug, um, thing is really getting out of hand you know now people starting to overdose this is effects of turning up you know so i don't know what y'all think about the situation comments questions leave them below till then this is me your boy chris with the next you know he's just talking on some real ish you know th- this is real life you know a lot of people want to joke and be comedians online but a lot of people go through this and, you know, on the side, you know, you know, you have a lot of people. They might be depressed where they want to be on SoundCloud. They want to be big. You know, I don't know what his problem was, you know. So you have to take that into consideration. All right, peace.